Democrats can't get their act together when it comes to Biden's radical spending bill. They're at odds with the numbers, the pet pot projects, and now they're arguing over the inclusion of the Hyde Amendment. This provision bans federal funding for elective abortions, and Democrat Senator Joe Manchin wants it included in the bill. But far left members of his own party want it gone for good. Joining me now to react, Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Rachel Campos Duffy and Liz Wheeler, host of The Liz Wheeler Show. Uh, Liz, uh, the Hyde Amendment used to be something that was just a, a, an agreed upon thing. It had bipartisan support. It was included whenever you were sending these things out. And Democrats would run on saying, you know, well, I'm personally, you know, have certain views on abortion, but I don't think we should use your money to fund it. What changed? Well, the radical left, AOC, the squad, um, came in and changed as, uh, changed the Democratic Party, as you know. I mean, the Hyde Amendment, as you mentioned, the Hyde Amendment used to be a, a nonpartisan, bipartisan thing when it was introduced by um, Henry Hyde. I think there were 100 Democrats who supported it at that time. And, and listen, this, this is something that represents the majority of the country. The Hyde Amendment has estimated to have saved 2.5 million unborn children um, from abortion. Those precious babies have been saved. This is, this is not something... That that is a Democratic issue versus a Republican issue when you ask the voters. It's only that partisan in Washington, D.C. There's a new poll that says that 58 percent of the American people do not want taxpayer money used to pay for abortions. Um, only 38 percent of Americans want that. That's a huge divide, Ben, a huge divide. And that divide actually accurate, really accurately reflects um, the popular opinion on abortion itself. The vast majority of the American people want restrictions on abortion. 80 percent of people, both pro-abortion and pro-life, think abortion should be illegal in the third trimester. 60% of people think abortion should be illegal in the second trimester because abortion is a brutal, gruesome procedure that not only ends the life of an unborn child, but harms women too. The Democrats are ignoring their constituents in, in the interest of their own political agenda. You know, in, Rachel, you are uh, familiar, of course, I'm sure, with many pro-life Democrats from union households, Catholic households across the country, mm -hmm. um, who nonetheless have voted for Democrats over the years, and yet they've they've done so during this great cultural sort where all of the pro-life Democrats that we used to be familiar with have been pushed out mm -hmm. of the party, that they, they don't have a place to go anymore. It's, yeah. it's astounding, the numbers that Liz quoted are accurate, how much that doesn't represent their own constituency. Yeah, I mean, the, the Biden administration is the most radical pro-abortion administration in U.S. history, and they are totally out of step. Joe Manchin is actually doing a favor to the party by trying to bring them a little bit in step. Um, but our country is divided, and our country is divided on this uh, moral issue for the same reason our country was divided over slavery. Anytime that you have people who are powerful, um, who want to profit out of deciding who is sufficiently human enough to live. Um, uh, you know, you can do anything you want to somebody once you decide they're not sufficiently human. We had this uh, cultural um, debate in the 1800s. We're having it now. And thanks to technology, as Senator Blackburn talked about, um, the, the, the pro-abortion side is losing because millions of women and, and frankly, their children, um, their, their, their children who are alive are meeting their siblings in utero um, because those images are so clear. They're so profound. They cannot be argued with. And um, the radical abortionists on the other side, the pro-abortionists, they, they look so delusional. They look so antiquated as they cling to these, you know, 1970 mm -hmm. notions of fetal development. I mean, you just cannot. I can tell you, Ben, the ultrasound that I saw with my oldest, Evita, down to the ultrasound I saw with my youngest, who is two years old, it's just night and day. I mean, I could see musculature. I could see, you know, fingernails so clearly. Her little cheeks look exactly the same now as they did in utero with my last baby. Um, technology is on our side, and um, we're winning this debate not for religious reasons. As you know, Ben, our country is not becoming more religious. It's becoming more secular. Mm -hmm. But technology is actually bolstering um, this, this argument um, for, for pro-lifers, and we're winning on that. Liz, real quick, uh, you have seen this happen within your own generation. You've seen the shifts that have happened there, despite the dominant heights of, of Hollywood and their like being owned by the pro-abortion side. Why do you think that resistance has happened? 
Yeah, I think Rachel's absolutely correct. I mean, we're the refrigerator door generation, right? We grew up seeing the ultrasound yeah. pictures of our brothers and sisters on the refrigerator door. I mean, I know how I felt at six weeks, when I was six weeks pregnant with my daughter, hearing that heartbeat. I mean, it's life-changing. You know that that's a human being inside. But I think it's also because we've started talking about the reality of what abortion is, what the procedure actually mm. does, whether it's a first trimester yeah. abortion that poisons a baby, whether it's a second or third trimester abortion that rips a baby apart, limb from limb, poisons a lethal injection to the heart to stop that baby's heartbeat. When people realize the gruesome reality of what abortion is, they can't help but mm -hmm. um, recognize that it's an atrocity to be committing against fellow human beings, uh, even if they're in the womb. Liz and Rachel, yeah, thank you absolutely. so much for taking the time to join me this evening.